Guten Tag, Chess Amigos. Welcome back to the grind. Um, okay, the opponent is playing the Queen's Pawn. Um, I'm going to try some stuff. I don't know the exact correct response to Queen's Pawn, um, but I've been playing this response with decent luck. So I'm gonna go ahead and try it. I believe I can win some material here. I know there's a more slick way to play that line where you sort of keep the knight pinned uh, for a lot longer, um, but I'm personally okay with this response for now. Let's see, sanity check. Uh, this is a free pawn. Okay, so we're, we're already up two pawns, so we're off to a pretty hot start. I have d5 next, um, attacking f4. Gets the queen out. play here um let's see does he just have mate here or something no okay i have to be really careful here hmm do i get do i just get the queen out okay let me think about this I really don't want to lose on some cheese here. Okay, so obviously g7 is undefended. So I could add one defender to it, or I could castle. If I castle, he has the option to do some silly things where I just get mated. Right. So I think in this position, it's better to get the queen out to f6. And then if he decides to move over to something like h4, h5, I can always just push a pawn up. And that will sort of stop the attack on h7. Watch me do all this calculating, and then I still somehow managed to lose. I <laughs> also need to remember that uh, if I do go queen uh, f6, he does win a pawn. Hmm. Maybe I just have to push up at this point. Maybe I just have to push up g6. And at least protect the pawn, and the next move I can sort of pressure his his f4 bishop. I don't really like pushing the g-pawn though, but maybe it's just necessary here at this point. I don't want to lose the pawn so fast. I know I'm already up two pawns, but I don't know. I wonder if there's just any way that I can pressure his queen too. I don't think there is right now. I'm just going to go g6. Um, I don't want to lose this pawn and lose this rook and the ability to castle. Yeah, I don't want to throw away the advantage here. It's a bit of a bummer. Do I just have to castle at this point? Could always push. I could always push and go for a queenside castle. And just forget the king side altogether. 
is defended by the queen, but man, g6, f6 just seems like such a wacky way to play. Maybe I just don't care, though. Ugh. Could always pressure his queen, too. Could create, like, a giant pawn pyramid here, pressuring his queen. I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> I really don't. <laughs> Man, his queen will be forced around. I want to threaten his high value pieces. If I don't have anything else useful to do. Ugh. Game got off to a hot start. Um, I think I can just continue to pressure his queen here. I don't see any reason why we shouldn't play knight d5. He's being hyper aggressive, so I think I have to switch to sort of a hyper defensive mode. Interesting. Hmm. What's he going after here? Hmm. I think at this point I just have to. Ah, uh, see. Hmm. I think I've kind of worked myself into a pickle here. He's going to win a pawn, and then he's going to infiltrate. Okay, how can I defend this rook? I don't think I can, right? Nope. So I don't think I can save the rook and protect the pawn at the same time. Mm. I guess I could just move my king up. Yeah, mo maybe moving the king up is just the best way. But then he has check here. I'm almost tempted to go to a light square. Almost tempted to go like f7 so I can at least put the knight back. Something like that. really don't want the king to just be undefended, though. But his queen really only has access to the dark squares. So maybe I should let the queen sort of have the option. Hmm. I know this looks crazy, but... Just gonna try it. I know that looks a little bit weird, but um, I think it's okay. Uh, so he has the checks here next. Hmm. I don't have a way to protect g5, but I do have a way to protect e5. I think I'll just be forced back here. Yeah, this is getting slightly messy. Hmm. I don't know if giving up the rook was the idea here, but yeah, we'll see. We'll see how this plays out.
Okay, that was expected. Should be able to get this pawn for free. Hmm. I think he, no, he doesn't have, never mind, never mind. Hmm. Maybe I just fall back to a light square. I do have a free pawn. And then I have the nasty fork coming up here. Um, I know I'm doing really bad about sort of developing all my pieces this game. But I think the position sort of is just requiring some rule breaking. I don't think he's going to be able to find mate with just the... Uh, yeah. So he did the thing. Well, I can win a pawn here. I also do have an attack on the bishop, but free stuff is free stuff. No. C2 is not free. But I do have the attack on the light square bishop next. At some point, I probably want to get my rook out onto h8 so my queen can go be free and do things. It's kind of hard to tell who has the better position here, if I'm being honest. Um, I mean, I have a really nice pawn structure pyramid thing, whereas his pawns are more or less kind of broken up. But he does have very active pieces, but are they active in the right space? I don't know. I don't know. The thing that might come back to haunt me is just a back rank mate here if I'm not careful. Could kind of block his queen in next. It might be kind of fun. I don't know how he would fix that. Uh, he'd probably have to play bishop e2 or something. I'm just going to go after his light square bishop here. Uh, my knight is in a really unfortunate spot. Um, think about this. Let me think about this. I do have check. The only way he can get out of it is if he moves his king or if he takes with the bishop, and then I could take his bishop as well. But then what am I really gaining from that? So I'm losing a knight here. think about this. I don't want to lose my knight, but his pawn is just in such a bad spot that maybe I just don't care. Bishop's in a, just such a bad spot. Hmm. Trapping this queen idea is really funny, but then I just lose a knight. Ideas.
So if I lose my if I uh if I lose my knight on e2, the only thing I'm really gaining is his pawn just stays uh sort of back one square. I don't know how much that matters or not. I don't really have a great follow-up move after this too. Let's think through the options. H3, a bit pointless. He can take with the queen. I think there's no reason not to take the bishop here. I mean, this e2 idea is just, it seems fun, but I, I don't know how much point there is in it. At least now I can get my bishop sort of out and uh, ready to breathe. I can't give up the defense here. I need to get my bishop out so I can get my rook in place here. My queen is just in the worst spot. Wouldn't be surprised if he tries to push his pawn. Then again, his queen is not in uh, that much of a better place either. I'm really tempted to go f4 here. I like the idea of f4 and just blocking his queen in. For some reason, it's just funny to me. Uh, if he pushes his pawn, I'll just take with the knight, recapture with the pawn, if he decides to take with the rook. Um, otherwise, I'm going to force his uh, rook probably to move to e1. Interesting. Uh, so he's just attacking the queen here. Uh, that's fine. Okay, so... Maybe I can just pressure his rook so if he takes my uh if he takes my knight with his queen there, I'm sort of up anyway. Let's see, he has e5 next with his knight. Um I don't have a good way to take that, but I'm just gonna pressure his rook. Can't really trap the queen in anymore. Hmm, I wonder. No, that's just a free pawn. I have to move the knight back. He doesn't have a light square bishop. Well, let's see. He doesn't have a bishop at all, actually. What's he looking for here? Yeah. So I, I was, I was afraid he was going to make that move. Let's see. This is defended. This is defended. And I really want to just kick his queen already. I go here, he has a uh, check. And then he could win a pawn, which I don't want him to do. I think my only move really is trying to kick his queen around, but it just seems like such a waste of time. I don't know. Maybe I just should, just, maybe I should start trying to advance my pawns a little bit. I don't know. I just want this queen to go away. <laughs> That's really all I'm after. Uh, so many options, but I do want to let my my rook out as well.
I guess if he checks me, I can always just move my queen up onto f6. Let's try it. I really just want to let my rook out already. If he checks, I'll just protect with the queen. Could always push this pawn, threatening his knight next as well. I have a feeling he's going to go g5, yeah. I'll probably take this pawn, force me to move. Yeah, so now we are sort of equalized. Let's see here before I make any irrational moves. Maybe I try to work my way sort of into this corner. My rook has a lot of really good squares to go to. Also, his king does still have sort of the threat of a back rank mate uh, at some point. I'm kind of tempted just to take this pawn, honestly. I'm going to take this pawn too. Yeah, I have to start pushing the pawns. Let's be careful here. Ah, oh, damn, he wins this pawn. Ah, oh, man, yeah. Um, really unfortunate uh, position here. Yeah, he wins the pawn, threatens the rook. A uh, bit of a bummer. Death by a thousand night jumps. <laughs> Let's see. Death by a thousand night jumps. Well, we lost our advantage. <laughs> we tried, boys. <laughs> it's okay. I don't want his rook to get on my seventh rank. That's going to be the most annoying thing. Um, I just want to start pressuring his pieces, right? Not again, this guy, man. I go here, he jumps. Ugh. Is 
guess I can just offer the trade. Then I'm gonna be I'm gonna be out rooks. I don't wanna be um I don't wanna be down that many rooks. Hmm. Maybe this pawn is just a lost cause. The knight plays. Yeah, I don't want to be out of rook. Damn. I think he just wins a pawn here no matter what. Man, the night jumps are really killing me. Honestly, I think I just have to go pr protect the E pawn. Man, kind of a bummer. I know, I know this looks weird, but um, if I go like C8, or no, if I go B7, he's got uh, D7, and he's got two attackers on this pawn. I can only defend with the king. Um, I think that's going to be a lot worse for me, so I think I just have to give up this pawn at this point. Bit unfortunate. Bit unfortunate, but we do have this move. <laughs> really glad I saw that. <laughs> I actually did not see that. The only reason I saw that was because I clicked on the knight and saw the dots. <laughs> uh, hey, another free pawn. What a turbulent game, bro. How long did I spend on that move? Minute 30? How long did I spent on that move? Two minutes? Minute 30? <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> Pretty sure I just win this pawn. I think he has to protect with the rook here. <laughs> yeah. Uh... Seems okay. Boy, oh boy, if I could just get this rook onto the back rank, that would be something, huh? Maybe I just try to bait him <laughs> on d8. <laughs> Let him have the knight. Boom. <laughs> just bait him. How about this? I'll try to bait him. If he pushes up, I'll block it. I was really tempted to just take that. <laughs> not going to lie. Um, I feel like he's going to try to pressure this with the knight somehow. I'll just block it. I have such an easy... Oh, he's probably going to go here next, huh? Ah, oh, damn, how do I fix this? Uh, where is he going to go here? I'll bring my king out. Oh no, that was a free piece. No! Free knight. Damn it. Missed that. 
Ah, bummer, man. Ah, bummer, bummer, bummer. Oh no. Bro, I just need back rank made so bad. No. No, I can't believe I missed that free night. Ah, oh, feels bad, bro. Feels bad. Oh, he's gonna be forced to move his rook, so. Do not miss the knight. Actually, he could have just uh, won that bishop, I believe. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, this is not good. No! Damn it. Uh, maybe I should have moved my bishop and just protected. Damn. Oh, you know what? No, he's going to be up a bishop. Feels bad, bro. Oh, this sucks. Damn it. Okay, how are we going to do this? Well... Our back rank is about to get destroyed. <laughs> no. Honestly, I just need to make a queen. Probably go here. Oh, I don't believe I can defend that. Hmm. No! <laughs> I don't want to lose this game, bro. <laughs> mm. End games. Feels bad, senor. Man. So unfortunate. So unfortunate. Good game, though. Yeah. Bummer. Ah, good game. Man. Um, I think my biggest blunder there was just missing the free night. Um, I think it would have... It would have been, um, uh, there would have still been a chance to win there if I would have just found that knight. Ah, uh, just feels really bad. Uh, now it's going to be impossible to get this pawn through. Uh, feels bad, man, feels bad. I guess I could still win if I just well I could I could win the rook if I just sack the bishop here, but I don't think he's gonna fall for that. I think he's just gonna push up or something. I don't know. There's like a slim chance here. Oh yeah, he found that move. Uh if I push up here, it's kinda just like all hope is lost type of thing. 
see him. Um, I'll protect. I mean, he can still blunder. He can just get really unlucky and put his rook and king sort of on the same white diagonal. Uh, it's going to be pretty unlikely, but you never know. Protect the pawn. Protect the pawn. Man, I feel so stupid for that knight move. Yeah, I'm feeling really dumb for that knight move. Feeling particularly dumb. He should push his king up. Man. Ugh. Let's see how long this goes. I do think I win a pawn out of this, at least. He has to pressure this uh, bishop, I don't know. Might be kind of hard for him, but I don't know. I could still win the pawn, but yeah, slim chance, but... Yeah, fork there. He's just going to keep pushing, uh, bullying my bishop around. Um, I don't know how I'm going to uh, defend this. I don't know, maybe it's worth giving it up. I don't know. Hmm. Uh, I think I probably blundered because now I can't protect this. He's just going to keep going back and forth. I mean, I can play for a draw. Oh, that move sucks. Yeah, this forces him to move around. He can probably just go here. Hmm. Uh, I think he could have just won. Hmm. Let's see if he goes for the, the bait here. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, this is probably the best spot for him. Ten years later... Come on, go for it, dude. Hmm. That probably just loses a bishop, I think. Hmm. I think I should have went around from back. Oh no, my pawn. I just need him to play one blunder, really. Uh, I think if I go here, it's lost. I have to protect the bishop somehow.
I need to just remember to not put the bishop and the king on the same, sort of the same rank or file. Actually, let's see if he goes for the bait. Playing well, but I'm not going to give up. Oh. Uh, bummer. Oh. He should probably just sack his rook at this point. I mean, he has the ability to get a pass pawn. Um. And he's uh, up a pawn too, so I don't know. I think it's kind of in his best interest just to just sack the bishop already, or uh, sack the rook already. Oh, man, I'm really surprised he's just not going for these. Uh, rip, rip a pawn. <laughs> oh man, GG. I don't think this is winnable at this point. Yeah, rip, GG. Yeah, yeah, uh, this is the position where it falls apart for me. Ah, uh, too bad, too bad. Man, all because of that... All because of that missed knight. Feels bad. Well, I'll try to just give him the mate, and, um... Sir, you'd have a free pawn. Sir, the pawn is yours. We're just gonna hope that his internet goes out or something. Play for stalemate. He honestly could just go e3 here. Is, yeah, there you go. Boom. Yeah, it's okay. I'll give him the I'll give him the the mate. He earned it. He earned it. He fought long and hard for this victory. <laughs> Man, the free knight. It's gonna bother me for the rest of the day. Just get your queen. Boom, boom, win a queen. <laughs> boom. Win a queen. <laughs> nice, GG. GG, GG. Oh man, I had one chance here. I love this dip right here. Was this? Oh, he played. He played one big blunder here, huh? And I missed it. Oh, no. No, the pin. <laughs> the pin. The pin on the light squares. Feels bad. Let me just go back to that one move. I don't want to review this whole game. This video is pretty long already. Um, I just want to see one thing. Yeah. Missed the knight. This would have uh, completely just, I think, sealed the game for me. I just failed to see that. Bit of a bummer. Um, I think that's honestly just kind of where the advantage was lost for me once he got his knight sort of uh, attacking my pieces here. It was kind of all over. Um, and then I missed the tactic at the end there with the, with the, with the pin.
and uh, skewering his rook there. Feels bad, feels bad, but fun game. Um, a lot more fun than the last one, and uh, the opponent played well, so um, yeah, GG to him. Beck, triple zero from Canada. Yeah, GG, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.